Hey guys, so I went to IKEA Mumbai and I showed a glimpse of it on my Instagram stories. Uh, okay, first let me quickly add that 30 second video so you get a glimpse of IKEA Mumbai. So I'll add that video now. As you saw, I'll quickly sum up my experience. We uh, reached at 12. Actually, we should have booked the 11 a.m. slot, but uh, my niece had her online classes, uh, her school. So we booked the 12 a.m. slot and uh, we left at 11. We reached around 11.45, 11.50 and then they make you uh, wait in queues and then they let you go like in section like there's a b c d e that way so they let like one particular section go together and then they check the qr code uh, when you go to ikea you need to register at first and you get a qr code in your email and on your whatsapp and you just need to show the qr code at the entrance and uh, you have to register the number of visitors per qr code you are allowed four visitors so if uh, more people are going you need to register two separate uh, email ids and names and phone numbers and uh, then they allow you to like go inside and then we immediately went to the cafe first because that's what everyone told us and uh, we did the right thing because when we went there were like hardly five to six people in the cafe like in the restaurant not the cafe there is a cafe below and at the checkout where you get like small knickknacks like baked samosa puff and tea coffee and there's a proper restaurant above where there's not actually a lot of stuff and the food was also okay but then uh, we had to like spend four five hours so we thought we would just eat there and uh, they have uh, in vegetarian they have like dal makhani paneer makhani with rice they have a salad and potato wedges and juice tea coffee the basic stuff and they have desserts like mango cake and chocolate cake both of which were really good i highly recommend getting the cakes there they were really moist and soft and yum and uh, yes we finished the cafe thing first and just as we were like eating and finishing our stuff there was a huge huge queue at the restaurant so we were like thankful that we finished the restaurant stuff first and then we started at, on the same floor and uh, then we went to the lower floor there are just two floors and uh, i think you can pretty much finish it in four hours including your lunch because uh, it is actually not as huge as i expected and also uh, it was a holiday that day so it got a little crowded i would recommend going on weekdays as you will get to see each and everything like properly because otherwise you have to rush through some sections and uh, also where where there's too much crowd together i kind of like avoid going there due to the whole corona situation it's just like somehow consciously on the back of my mind all the time uh, yeah that's how life post corona is so yes uh, since i posted this video on instagram all of you wanted to see a haul actually i did not shop a lot i shopped for a very few things because uh, last year i think around one year and few months ago i had placed a huge ikea order for all the big stuff like my mirror my uh, shelf my skincare shelf the whole thing and then my lamp which you see here and uh, I think pretty much it the, the three four things I ordered if you want to shop uh, for bigger stuff and a lot of like bigger stuff I recommend placing an order online otherwise you can uh, check out the product there and place your order immediately there they have a lot of booths there where you can place your order or check the item or check similar items and stuff they have a lot of like booths where you can scan the barcode and check the price etc or you can like place an order there uh, but if you uh, see the same thing online it's better if you like sitting at home and place an order online uh, this was just like an experience because if we wanted to like see the place and experience it so that's why we went there so i think it's best to go there for like small small things you want to get and check out the stuff basically and also they have our lowest price uh, yellow boards at a few places and uh, i would highly recommend checking that uh, board and going and visiting uh, that area because they have some very good things at very very cheap prices i bought a few of those 
so yes without blabbering too much let me quickly show you the haul and if you have any questions related to ikea you can drop in the comments below and i will get back to you let me show you the plants i got now they also have a few real plants and a lot of fake plants uh, i mostly am into real plants if you know uh, if you follow me on instagram stories and uh, um, I got four real plants. Now the thing is, the pricing was almost similar to what you get in a nursery, but I found the health and the quality of the plants much better. And the quality of the soil was also nice, and they come with a pot. And usually in nurseries, you get those black plastic bags. So I think this was really worth it for the price. Uh, I'll quickly show you the plants. First is this epipranium, which is nothing but golden pothos, like uh, from the money plant family, from the pothos family. And this small tiny plant was for sixty nine rupees. Actually, they have a packing station uh, where uh, they have newspapers and they have tape. Uh, so it's like a self-packing station. If you have anything glass or anything which you feel like uh, this has soil, so I didn't want the soil to like spread everywhere and mess other things. So I went and packed uh, the plants. I will quickly open this. So yeah, this says um, epipremium and this is how it looks like. The pot is also nice and pretty cute, and it's a small pothos plant. This was for just sixty nine rupees. So I like yeah, I got a few plants which I thought were really really worth the price. Uh, because usually I go and buy plants from nurseries, and I would also like to support the smaller nursery people. But the thing is, sometimes some plants I have bought from nurseries literally die in a few days. Like I go and buy from there, and they survive like three, four days, five days, and then they suddenly start dying. I don't know if it's the change in the environment or the soil or, or the quality such. Or this was almost the same price and uh, i really like the pot as well all the pots are like similar in different sizes uh, second is this chrysanthemum now they had different colors they were yellow uh, they were pink they were white there were different flowers in the chrysanthemum now i had packed this so i didn't water it and it's been 2 days since the ikea visit they okay, sorry for the construction noise so yes the leaves are drooping and i need to water it immediately i was just waiting to shoot this haul uh, because everything was packed So I'll water it now, and yeah, uh, there were different shades in the chrysanthemum, and this was for one sixty nine, I believe. This was for one one nine. So the thing is, the price for a lot of products were different from the sticker on the product. The sticker which mentions the price below the product was the actual price. So this mentions one sixty seven, but it was for one one nine, and it was mentioned there. So yeah, I'll quickly water this. Next is the Syngonium, uh, which is for one thirty nine. Again, it mentions as one ninety five, but it was for one thirty nine. And uh, yes, it it is a pretty good size of Syngonium. I had got a Syngonium from the nursery last time for I think sixty or seventy rupees. It was a smaller Syngonium without the pot, and it died within like. Uh, Within like I think two three weeks, I don't know what happened. I was watering it properly, and the soil was like moist enough. I don't know what exactly happened. So I hope this survives. For one thirty nine with the pot, it was pretty good. Last but not the least is this peace lily, which has this beautiful two flowers. Now I have a peace lily, a smaller one, uh, but it has never bloomed. Like it is growing well, but the leaves are also like the small. Uh, but the leaves are also like small, small ones. There are a lot of leaves, a whole bunch, but they don't grow big somehow. Uh, they grow in volume, but uh, not in uh, length. I would say like not vertically, and they have never bloomed like that. I I just love the peace lily flower, and mostly they have just one flower. This one has two. And this peace lily was for one sixty nine. Again, uh, absolutely love the price. So yes, I got this. These were the four plants I got, and all four plants combined uh, were for four ninety six, which is really amazing because the nurseries in some of the nurseries, which are the good ones in Mumbai, they usually charge like four hundred, five hundred bucks for one plant. So getting four plants at this price was really good. The next thing is this foldable bed table. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this. Uh, yeah, you can keep your laptop on it, or you can have your tea, coffee, breakfast, like a breakfast table. Usually, uh, people have breakfast on this in the morning, so you can either eat your lunch, dinner, or just work on your laptop. It's like a foldable table, and this was for four ninety nine. Uh, so the actual price is a uh, six ninety nine, but it was on a sale, so this was for four ninety nine. This is how it looks. And you can place it on your bed, and it it had different color options. It even came in black and a dark blue, and this white. Next is this uh, pillow inner thing, like a pillow, and I need to like buy a cover for this. This was just for two hundred rupees, and this is like a big pillow. 
so yes usually this size pillows cost around 400 to 500 so 200 was a good price i got this plant pot i believe this uh, was for 69 i'll just check the invoice on my email this was for 79 rupees and uh, it you can either place your pot uh, inside like the whole brown pot this doesn't have a hole so you can just this would just be like an outer thing an outer pot or you can like even store your makeup brushes or anything like that so it's like a cute just a cute uh, pot and you can even place your candles inside this was for 79 i got curtains uh, these are window curtains like the smaller ones and you can see the print here it's like white and green and it's a pretty thick cottony material and this was for rupees 999 per pair and i have like two windows in my bedroom so i had to buy like two pairs so 999 plus 999 next i got this uh, small rug thing so this is just like a small rug which a mat rug whatever you want to call it a small thing which you can like place anywhere or create like a boho area i generally do like for shoots and all uh, and like you can keep your plants on this or some fancy boho pillows so yes i got this rug which was for 149 i believe this was for 99 bucks guys so yeah this was on the lowest price category so this was for 99 rupees last but not the least i got a throw again from the uh, our lowest price section it's like a soft woolleny very soft woolleny throw a throw which you can keep on the sofa or anywhere throw was for 149 which is amazing i love the soft uh, woolleny material and for 149 it's a steal so yeah guys that's about it that was all for my small little ikea haul my battery is dying so yes please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please like this video if you like my haul and let me know your favorite item in the comments down below thank you for watching bye